<sighs> oh well, oh well. Now it's time to talk about this uh, amazing statistic, you know. 84% of vegans end up quitting at some point and go back to eating meat. Of course. Now, you might be familiar with this. It comes from the people of Phonalytics. And obviously they pulled this uh, statistic out of their behinds. Because it's completely untrue. It's deceitful. And it's nonsensical. And the reason for that is because this so, uh, supposed study or whatever they, they mix vegans and vegetarians they put vegans and vegetarians together in this and that's like vegans and vegetarians that, that, that's like Austrians and Australians it sounds similar but it's not Australia is the kangaroo having country and Austria is the non kangaroo having country Australia, kangaroo, Austria, no kangaroo whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, there's many more differences, but, you know. So, it sounds the same. It sounds similar, but they're not. The same goes with vegans and vegetarians. We're not similar by any, by any means. We're, we're not similar at all. Yeah, we share something that, that we eat a plant-based diet. But that's just the, where the similarities end. And that the words kind of sound similar, whatever. Um, and the word vegan comes from the vegetarian root, you know? Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but that's it. That, that's where the similarities end. So I'm not going to explain these uh, differences between vegans and vegetarians. Uh, in this video, I might do a video uh, on this topic uh, later on. But today is about this ridiculous nonsense of 84%, which is not even true. And, but, but for the sake of this video, and for the sake of argument, let's say that, yeah, it is true that 84% of ethical vegans end up quitting at some, po at some point, and only 16% remain vegan until their, their, their death. Okay, so what's it to you? You, if, if you're taking this statistic as an excuse to not go vegan, it seems to me that you're just shielding, you're just using this as a shield, and you're use, using this to, to not be held accountable for your, your choices. Because really, it shouldn't matter to you what percentage of vegans remain vegans, and what percentage quit, or whatever. The real reason you're not a vegan is not because of some bogus number. It's because you're not passionate enough about the, about the issue. You know, the, the, the thing that, that the animals are going through. This horror. This massacre. So if you're not passionate about it, you're not going to want to do it. And then you're just deflecting responsibility by going, Oh, well, 84% of you quit, so why even bother? That's not what humans do. Throughout all of our history, we've done many things and achieved many, many things against all kinds of odds. And we never care about probabilities or statistics or anything like that. If you're passionate about something, you're going to pursue that something, regardless of difficulty. For example, I like video games. And if you're into that, and you're familiar with the uh, people of uh, From Software, the, the guys who make the uh, Dark Souls games and the Bloodborne, and I think they made Elden Ring as well, these are brutally difficult games. They're, they're very well known for their extreme difficulty, but the people who play them, they're very passionate about them, and they get this amazing feeling once they, you know, finish these games, they feel like they've accomplished something extremely difficult to do, and they get a great feeling out of it. Now, they're passionate about these games, so they play them. Now, of course, I'm, I'm not one of those people, I don't, it's not my genre of gaming, uh, uh, I'm an adult now, so I just want to 
you know, when I get home, I just want to sit back and relax. So I just play re relaxing games, whatever, you know. Nothing too, too taxing on, on my mind, yeah. So that's just the thing. But so many people are passionate about these games. And many people are passionate about, you know, medicine or arts, music, sports. And that's why they do it, because they, they have a passion and they go for it. Not because it's difficult or easy. Nothing that is worth it is going to be easy. So the, the thing with the animals is, is just the same. If you're passionate about the animals, and if you recognize that these non-human animals, that they are individuals with their own thoughts and feelings, whose lives matter to them, you're going to want to do everything in your power to stop this horrible massacre from happening. And you're going to want to help the animals. This 84% BS garbage should not scare you and should not deter you from doing your best to help our friends in the animal kingdom who need us so much. So next time that you ask yourself, hey, why am I not a vegan? Don't tell yourself and others the lie that it is because 84% quit and recognize that you just don't feel passionate about it. So my, my message is do better, stop hurting animals, and start turning veganese. Till next time. Fun analytics of the mother flipping garbage. Non quats. <laughs>